Welcome to LA. Headline News Now. We begin with breaking news. One person is dead following a crash connected to a street takeover. So that CHP is now investigating what led up to the collision that left one car mangled on the sidewalk and another badly damaged in the middle of the intersection. Again, at least one woman killed in this crash. Street takeovers, also known as sideshows, have seen a dramatic rise this year with data from the LAPD confirming a surge in these dangerous gatherings. Earlier today in Carson, in street racers commandeered several intersections, including East 223rd Street and Wilmington Avenue. These high risk, high speed events are drawing increasing scrutiny in LA. Hundreds of takeovers occur annually, often leading to deadly crashes and even shootings. Just last night in Gardena, fireworks were launched during another chaotic street takeover event. New at 5 a.m., a man has been taken into custody after vandalizing a Rite Aid store. This happening in Larchmont about 9.30 last night. LAPD units responded to a reported disturbance at the Rite Aid location on North Larchmont Boulevard near Beverly Boulevard. By the time police got on scene, the man had already made a big mess, knocking down displays and items from the store. Witnesses inside the store say they were also being harassed. Police say the suspect caused about $4,000 worth of damage. In developing news tonight, rubber burning and bullets flying. Deputies shoot a man at the end of a pursuit. When this all transpired, L.A. County Sheriff's Department chasing a carjacking suspect. He hits that pole, reverses towards the deputy's car, and that's when shots were fired, according to the department. I want to show you live pictures right now, though, from the scene. This is that press conference that is underway. We just learned from this homicide lieutenant here that this carjacking allegedly happened at 620 this morning. He carjacked, according to her, a elderly male. No, no weapon, but force or fear was used. Deputies then caught up with the patrol car, the uh, suspect vehicle later on this afternoon. This is when that chase started. Now, you are going to see the moments that the suspect was shot by L.A. County Sheriff's deputies. We're going to show it to you once, but we want to show you what led up to it. You see him get stuck between the pole and the patrol car here. Uh, they have guns drawn, and according to this update that was given right now by sheriff's deputies, the suspect tried to reverse into that patrol car. According to the lieutenant, that is what prompted deputies to open fire. We now know that four deputies fired their weapons. There you see it, the back windshield being shattered. The uh, lieutenant says the LA County or LA City Fire Department rather responded to the scene, took the man to the hospital where he is currently in critical condition. Shocking video shows a horrifying case of animal abuse. The video igniting anger, outrage and action. Neighbors coming together to hold the dog owner accountable. Fox 11's Christina Gonzalez live in Korea with this story. Christina. As we show you this, with that said, take a look. They're putting cuffs on him. A live Instagram feed of LAPD officers handcuffing a man, seemingly the same man seen on social media. LAPD investigating the now viral post where the man is seen grabbing a whimpering dog and... Here's a different angle from the building's security camera. We can't show you the whole video, it's really too disturbing, but in essence what the person is doing is taking the animal, coming over here, and literally dropping him down three flights. After, security video shows a man walking away and the dog eventually coming up the stairs. Well, now a look ahead to 2024 and new laws that will impact many of your lives. The first is about a question. Police officers can no longer ask people they pull over on California roads. Potentially millions of California drivers have been asked by police. Do you know why I pulled you over? Beginning with the new year, they cannot start the interaction with that question. Instead, they must state the purpose of the traffic stop before asking any other questions. The law is an effort to reduce instances where an officer stops a suspicious vehicle for a minor traffic offense in search of a bigger crime. This has been LA Headline News Now. Like and subscribe to stay up on the latest news from Headline News Now.